When it comes to choosing the best smartphone, it's always a tough decision. This year was particularly difficult because we had two incredible contenders, the iPhone 7 Plus and the Google Pixel XL. After much debate and soul searching, we crowned the iPhone 7 Plus as the best smartphone of 2016. But the Pixel XL is the closest second we've ever had in this race. Here's why the iPhone 7 Plus ultimately triumphed and a list of our picks for other smartphone categories. What's not to love about Apple's iPhone 7 Plus? Its iconic aluminum design is now fully waterproof, the dual lens camera pulls off amazing DSLR tricks, and it's the fastest smartphone you can buy, period. Add to that Apple's commitment to your security and privacy, and you have one hell of a smartphone. The impressive 12 megapixel dual camera is among the most compelling reasons to buy the iPhone 7 Plus. One of the cameras is a telephoto lens that offers two times optical hardware zoom. The quality of two times zoom on the iPhone 7 Plus is just extraordinary. The dual camera lenses also enable the best bokeh effect we've ever seen on a smartphone. Other phones, including the Pixel, tend to mess up the blurring effect on the small details. Apple is also well known for reproducing colors accurately. Since Apple designs the hardware and software together, iOS 10 runs like a dream on the phablet. Interactive notifications, the incorporation of 3D touch into every aspect of the interface, and the new iMessage make iOS 10 the most intuitive smartphone interface ever. To top it off, instant software updates are the icing on the cake with iOS. The lack of a headphone jack is the only major blight on the iPhone 7 Plus's near-perfect record. It comes with lightning ear pods, but if you have your own headphones, you may struggle with the included 3.5mm to lightning adapter. After trying every Android phone on the list, no matter how good or innovative they are, we still go back to the iPhone, and the iPhone 7 Plus is the best one yet. Google's Pixel XL is the best Android phone we've ever used. It's the first Android phone in history that can fully compete with the iPhone in several key areas. Security, software updates, and software design. It's so good, we nearly named it the best smartphone of the year. Indeed, if you're an Android fan who will never buy an iPhone, the Pixel XL is the best phone you can buy. Google designed the Pixel XL from the ground up. Because of that, it was able to perfectly integrate hardware and software together into one excellent package. Just like Apple does with the iPhone. That approach, plus the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chip and 4 gigabytes of RAM make the Pixel the most powerful Android phone you can buy. The Android 7.1 Nougat software runs silky smooth on the Pixel XL. After using it for two weeks, looking at Android phones with user interfaces on top is hard. The Pixel just looks nicer. It's that attention to detail and design that makes the Pixel XL appeal to iPhone and Android users alike. The Pixel XL's 12.3 megapixel camera is nearly as good as the iPhone 7 Plus's, though it doesn't have two times optical zoom or the dual camera tech to pull off accurate lens blur. Its lens blur effect is good, but the iPhone's is just better. The Pixel XL may be as expensive as an iPhone, but it's well worth your money. We are certainly excited to see how the Pixel phone series evolves. Motorola's Moto G series has been widely popular thanks to its sub $200 prices. And while the new G4 is a little pricier, it certainly can't be left off this list. For $200, the Moto G4 offers a 5.5 inch 1080p screen, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 processor, two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Or you can upgrade to the Moto G4 Plus with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage, but that technically presses you out of the $200 category. The base Moto G4 doesn't come with a fingerprint sensor, and it has a lower 13 megapixel rear camera, but it features the same 5 megapixel selfie camera as the G4 Plus. It also comes with a 3000 milliamp battery, which should be more than enough to last you a day. The better camera and fingerprint sensor, which adds security and convenience, put the G4 Plus ahead of the Moto G4 in our books. However, when you're really on a tight budget, $50 makes a big difference. That's why we've included both the Moto G4 and the G4 Plus. The Plus is our preferred Moto G4, but if you really can't spare the extra 50 bucks, the Moto G4 will serve you well too.